for Blood. Yeah, gonna be there for 33 over DY. Meanwhile, I was taking a look at the CS. Look at, they're bringing Oracle down here. They're cooking. Yeah, they're looking for Ame. Charging up the stun, trying to get some vision there. Finally get nice it, but it's avoided. So easily done, but Insane is also here. here. Three heroes come in, but the Blast Off stuff. hits all three with the reactive taser. They get the kill onto DY, and they'll trade for 33. So this isn't bad. Ame's got a kill. XM makes a rotation, something he needs to do to get gold under his belt. While he got pushed out of lane immediately. So getting a kill there, or helping out with one, is pretty nice for him. Was in touch again. They're, they're trying to get this kill onto the techies. Avalanche just lands on the edge, so DY's gonna die before he's able to blast off. And there's not much XXS can do. XM went back to get mana. He was fully out. So this tier one tower top can be in a lot of trouble. And if they try to defend on the side of extreme, they might be putting themselves in a bit of a bad position. And ZQ's already feeling the damage from that. Sleight of Fist Curse. searing chains. Winter's Curse is there. Can he do enough with this? Not really. He just dies and they leave him there to die. Like, they don't have the clear target to go for. Like, if you see these two supports holding hands together, and they're also going to invade the enemy XP rune. Try to get it to XXS. He needs to fall back. We see an ex uh, extreme smoke, and they're going to find the alchemist. His ult's running, so they'll need to kill the oracle to start. They're going for it, so let's see if they can get this kill on a 33. Take it the out to start. Winter's Curse is going to be there onto the Templar Assassin. Mickey's got to try and get out of this one. He throws down a trap. And they've got a sticky bomb, Pulverize. There's the ult from the Oracle onto this TA. Mickey surviving, turning it around a little bit, but they go to the song. So Ame has the exit strategy here as ZinQ will fall. It's a good reset. But they got the Alk, you know. This guy's a money bag every time you kill him. And they, they dodge this Aegis fight, so they kind of force all of Liquid to go back to their own side of the map, and they get out. And so, a good fight for them. It's Not these bad. small skirmishes. I think every time Extreme gets to delay the game, to some extent, they're happy. You know, maybe it's not going to mean they win the game, but it puts them in a better position the later the game goes. And they're doing, they're getting these kills on the guy who's trying to push the timer the most, right? The yeah. Alchemist. So I feel like you're kind of getting way more than... Yeah, the good thing is this is not, anybody else. you know, carry Alchemist. Do you have, Ooh. like, another position one who's Orchid scaling? On the Naga. Oh, that's big. It's just the Aegis, but they can get out cleanly. This would be nice. DY's in some trouble. Toss back towards Zinku. They've got all five heroes on the side of Liquid going in, and they will get the kill out of the techies. See if Zinku gets out. This is really good for them. There are still three minutes Ame? left on the Aegis. I mean, he's just going to cut the wave. He's chilling. Do you guys consider yourself the Ame experts now that you made him go 0 and 11 for the first time in his career? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That was, it, was, it was a rough game. It was a rough troll game. I don't think I've ever seen him go 0-11 like that. It was the first pick troll, after all. It was a nine-pick troll. <laughs> <laughs> he was playing to, like, Wyvern and... Whoa, smoke broken immediately. Blink in with the avalanche, but the onslaught still goes off. They Found look the over dazzle. at the Dazzle. They're on top of him. Ame's here. They'll get the kill on Anisha to start this one off. They'll look over at Mickey. They've got the pulverize. Pulverizing he, him he, down into the ground. He promised himself on Oracle. Oh, Mickey in trouble. Trying to heal him up. Ame, he's focused on a lot of attention. They get the kill on the Naga Siren. The Whip XXS who's onslaughting out. They go after DY. The right clicks are there. Should be dead to rights with the Radiance burning him as well. And that's not what Extreme Gaming thought they were going to get out of this. It was a bait by Insania. He false promised himself instead of the TA. So they, <laughs> they oh. full committed on the TA. Thank you. That's going to be an, another death for him as Winter Wyvern just gets chased down by the rest of this Liquid team. Quick buy, though. Onslaught. Nisha again. They find Nisha. He's away from his team just a bit. Waiting on that Orchid. They finally put him on him, and they get the kill. Golden Embrace trying to survive. Zinku's already dead. The Winter Wyvern's out of the fight. Remnant over with the BKB that was just picked up by XM. Right Cook's coming out from AK. They've got the Pulverize out of the Tiny. He's in trouble. One shot till Boxy ends up dead. And Xenia's fallen. That's three heroes dead on the side of Liquid. They go to the Song. Great Song. Oh, the self stun. Is the self stun. Nope. Nope. Just False Promise. Eh, false Promise. Ooh. Jumps off and will still die. Triple kill for XXS. They're trying to find 33. They're going to try and catch up to 33, and they're trying to pick up this Alchemist as XM's going to be chasing here. Slight of Fist, Searing Chains. They'll catch out. He'll charge up a stun. Onslaught stopped early because of that stun. There's a bunch of TA traps. Yeah, these are going to be Here's silencing them as well, and he looks like he's getting away. They've slowed him up so much, and they get to escape. Mules up into the air, and Ami's coming here. over. Uh-oh. 
Some net action, but 33 is here. Oh, did he just man to dodge the stun? That's insane. He got the Shallow Grave off too, though, but Boxy's on the run with that Shadow Amulet, so he's trying to get away from the fight. XXS. It's a messy Boys fight a touch for shard, stream. stun coming in. And the Melt nice Strike, curse. but they've got the Winter's Curse. That'll save XXS, who activates the Uproar. Right on top of these heroes, looking for the Pulverize, but he's going to be hexed up again, thanks Everyone's to the Poison Touch so coming out from Nisha. XM coming in with the Slight of Fist here, and Jane's they've also got the net on the Oracle. They try to get on top of him, and Senia's in trouble. The Onslaught hit, he'll save he's himself. Got he's off. got the Reigns of Destiny as well on top Liquid's of the team, but is it going to be enough? Shallow Grave, Nisha surviving for a little bit longer. Ami's got a little bit of health remaining, still but the, the Golden Brace is going to be on the Ember. He still has that Aegis for 13 more seconds. That'll end up popping. The Upper is going to be popped once again. The Refraction from Mickey is going to keep him pretty healthy, but there's the song on to everybody from Liquid as they start to retreat. They don't have DUI, don't have this tech. He's stunned up by his own Stun is 33, and they're still chasing on Ame, who no longer has this Aegis. He up into the air. Box is going to get a little bit low. They've got Nietzsche on the back lines with 30, with 33 in the front lines going after XM. Uproar activated again with the Shallow Grave. They just can't kill this Dazzle. Ame into the face of Mike. They've got this trap down, trying to silence him up, trying to get Ame out of his face. As Box is still alive, only using his heroes hero all the so time. <laughs> they only got the kill on a DY. They take out XM. 33 is finally going to get that as XXS is trying to run him with the uproar again. The silence from the trap, the blink forward, the meld strike coming out from Mickey. The damage is there with the poison touch landing. That'll hex him up. They get the kill. That's three heroes down on the side of Extreme. But DY came back because the fight took eight minutes. Man, what a prolonged team fight. It looked like Team Liquid is not going to have enough, but a couple of these and yeah, all that gold is from the Elk. He, yes. you know, the, gave the uh, Ags to the Dazzle. And when he, he does that, it. you sell for full price. So the Dazzle basically just got 4,200 gold. Whew. Pure money. Charging up the stun, no, looks over at all. XM. Uh-oh, silence, the trap's there. Toss Good up toss. in the air. They've got the Hex, they'll get the kill. XXS is in. Gonna sure have to, to try and leave. Traps down again. That's gonna silence him up with the Poison Touch as well as that mini Hex that he's got with it, Frank, thanks to the Shard. Stun, blink, forward, BKB on the run, and up onto the high ground. But that is XM dead for 70 more seconds, which is going to leave them with about 50 on the ages left when he's back up. 33, overwhelming blink, Shiva's guard. You blink in in the middle of the fight. They can't use their blink daggers for a long time. And also just the slow, like you need to yeah, pop something. Move. You can't move, you have 100 move speed. Lift, stun, charge, overwhelming blink. 33 is in pretty deep. Cold Embrace, not level 18, so no level 3 in the Winter's Curse just yet, but the Avalanche is going to follow it up off the win off the Cold Embrace. So Zinku's in trouble. The Meld Strike gets the no kill. Buyback. He doesn't have buyback on the Winter Wyvern, so there is no curse. The bottom tier 3, that'll fall. The Wyvern's 500 gold short of having that uh, buyback. Look at Ame. Ame is in the base. To kill tier 3 tower. Toss, Yules. Can they lock him down? Uh oh, he's got the Aegis, but can he get out? Song and. We'll just TP. TP. They get the kill on his They'll take it the Winter Wyvern. He's also got buyback. Now, yeah. Shallow Grave onto Insania. He's not dying. Side of Fist, Searing Chains, Shadow Wave, keeping him alive. Remnant back the other way, but he's going to be able to blink away. They go after Mickey. They've got the BKB from XM. Lotus Urbana. Mickey trying to run away from this one. It, it's Winter's Wind Curse Waker. is on the Dazzle. They go to the song because Ame is low. Ame. Does he even look to get out of this fight? They Who do they want to re-engage in onto? They'll look over at Nietzsche, but the Lotus Orb stops the Pulverize. They'll blast off in. They'll try to get the kill onto the Dazzle, but he Shallow Graves himself. They get the kill onto DY. He already bought back. He's going to be dead for 90 seconds. Insania finally falls. They look over as XM. He's going after 33. Nietzsche's still here. They get the kill onto ZQ. He's going to be dead for 90 as well. Lotus Orb once again. The break is on him with an Olifier hitting him as well. XM, he's gone. Now they've got the Shallow Grave once again. Uproar from XXS. They can't get the kill, and he can't do anything. Nobody's dying here. Buyback comes out from XM. Ami's going to have to run. The stun's thrown over on him, but he can't avoid it. So now the Meld Strike right on top of him with the silence coming up from the trap. They've got the Poison Touch. They'll get the kill, taking out Ami again. I would just want to see how many graves was that in that fight. Like if you show fight. He's still staying alive. They've still got this Lotus Orb reflecting, and they go and get the song. This is on a four. All five now caught in it, but can they do anything? They're going to focus their attention onto Insania. They want to make sure they get the kill onto the Oracle. They'll go after him. They've silenced him, but the Guardian Greaves are there, so he's able to survive. Yule's up into the air for Ame, and now he needs to run away oh, a little bit. They go to the Shallow the Grave. They once. can't even get the Dazzle, but he's got himself an Aegis. The right click's coming out for Mickey. They've got the Reigns of Destiny right on top of him. They'll get the Sun coming through. BKB, Ame trying to survive. Found False Promise is there on the Dazzle. Blast off. Lands on a three. Nisha still alive with this first life of two. The Shallow Grave just making sure that he's staying alive and nobody dying here. It's a BG song in this fight. As nobody's dying, they're staying alive.
They go after ZinQ, they get the kill to the Winter Wyvern. That's the BKB being used here by XXS. Blink forward, Poison Touch, not gonna turn him into a pig just yet. He'll onslaught back into the base, getting away, but the sun lands on him. Only one dead on the side of Extreme Gaming, and they take out the Aegis. These fights are so long. Like they, they're one minute, one and a half minute. Everybody has evasion, some kind of a dispel mechanic. So many heals coming out. One more time. Onslaught, touching. Overwhelming Blink, looking over at Ame. Side of Fist, Searing Chains, 33, he's getting low. Oh, they the go to the Avalanche, back. they've got the toss on Ame, that he doesn't have buyback, that could be it. Two minutes, he's dead, they get that kill on a DY, three heroes got on the side of Extreme Gaming, the gem is on the deck, godlike here for Mickey. Trying to finish it off, Side of Fist, Searing Chains, locking him in place. They go after XXS, they've got the damage, they have the silence, they'll get the kill, they'll take him out, he doesn't have buyback either, it's all on XM. As they'll take this set of racks off top. But now they'll finally call GG, and game one will go to Team Liquid. 56 minutes in, 53,000 net worth ahead, and they finally finish off the first one. Yeah, there's, a, I think, around 20 minutes where in Extreme Gaming, they did have, like, enough damage, but there was also a lot of survivability still on Liquid. Or die. Oh, yeah, I, that might be it. Try to bring a dive. healing salve. Yeah. That's, uh, that's a plan, it seems. But given a first blood, is it worth it? They're wrapping up, XM, wrapping around. He'll onslaught, and they'll get that kill on a mid game. They use the glyph. XM's gonna die. XM, he's in trouble. Waning Rift, Silence, Illusory or Blands, and XM, ooh, gonna die to Boxy, Close. and that is back-to-back -back deaths in the mid lane. So now XM, he's also slowed down, but he's still ahead of Nisha in terms of net worth. They could stick around. Puck is gonna be level six. He has the power rune available, so with one more rotation from Insania, Picks up the creep. I'm not having a game at the moment. But they got the tower. This is pretty big. So this also means that uh, Jin Q can make a move. They're not going to go through the gates. It Token will be a TP Jesus, rotation. Roof, fade bolt. Ame low and burning. That right click though does it. Boxy's got another kill. He's on a killing spree. Going for it. Enchantress is here. Ame. Wanting to play that aggressive. Jaunt's back off of it. Nice oh, land. Oh, onslaw. On. Good kill on a two. XXS gets the double. But with this, so amplified damage on Puck, Lads, Brewmaster. This always <laughs> looks so <laughs> funny. Got, I heard <laughs> Onslaught, but yeah, Avalanche comes in on a two. They've got the silence. Tokinesis doesn't oh, snap the coil, but they'll still get the kill on Ame. Boxy. And he's going to try and kill himself to neutrals, work. but the. Tree toss will get the kill and Mickey will onslaught. There's the jump from Shield Ame. Rune. He's Work actually the one who gets hit by that onslaught. Now bumped into the air. They've got the avalanche. They'll got look him. for the kill. They get the kill on Anisha as well as Boxy. Ame with a double kill. And just like that, as his net worth is As soon as they picked up that Orchid, perfect timing pretty and much. Even with the rune. shield rune, they still managed to get the kill. A DY shows up in a fight. Sunray drops the egg just in case. I mean, their team fight avalanche is much stronger. Back. They're going to have another, and if Ami gets this, I'm, he's fully recovered. Double okay. silence for the puck. Read it well from Ami, but now he jumps Mickey's into the fight. In. They've got the Dream Coil. He'll jump forward. Mick ATPs out. And they've kept ZinQ alive for a little bit as they took out Nisha. They'll get the kill onto Insania. So it looks really nice. It's, but It's a really good pure damage item now. Smokes are breaking. Blink in, Pulverize. That's going to be stopped by the Waning Rift. Look at the damage death. on XXS. The stolen pulverized, they get the kill on XXS. It's Boxy who gets credit for that kill. They're They've focusing got the silence the on the Ame. They'll take it the egg. DY's dead. Right clicks in. Boxy low. One more shot. Can he die? Zinku's already in with the waiting rift. The right click's coming oh, out from Mickey once him. again. Zinku ends up falling. That's oh, three years out of the, the side of so Ame needs to run, but the melt strike, he'll take out the Aegis. So. Viper on the run, back into form. Can they get anything out of this one? The Sunray, they look for the right clicks. Ame in trouble, he's on the front lines, pops that Manta. Silence still, right clicks from the Impetus. This is insane, you're doing a good amount of damage. Melt Strike, XM trying to TP, but they've got the Yules up into the air, and they'll get themselves another. That's a full team wipe. They bought back on the Phoenix, and Liquid have... Can they get out of this fight? Ame's off into the trees. He's trying to get away with the Spectral Dagger. The OC is going to be used by Xam, but the Enchantress goes Very in with nice BKB being from 33. Now. Cyclone onto Ame, keeping him isolated from the rest of his team. Ame needs to run. Sunray's going to be used again by DY, but Cyclone once more. He's up in the air, XXS, he's really low, up on the high ground. They go with the Spock, who's trying to put out the damage with the Waning Rift. They get the kill on Ame, and they'll take out this Spectre. Gone for 70 seconds, no buyback. They've got an Aegis, they don't have a glyph on the side of Extreme Gaming, they can push the high ground for free. 
really awkward fight for Extreme. Like, they were forced to use this BKB on Primal, already down to half HP, doesn't want to commit to a fight. They do get a coil afterwards, and uh, they commit. They do have Aegis, and then you have also Brew, who kind of controlled the whole fight. This was the second split, I believe, and uh, every single time we see the split Very being high used... Value splits. Yeah, it looks really good. Broken he was stacking the, the splits. <laughs> And here's the Rax. This is the final glyph for the game for Extreme in terms of like being refreshed. And Liquid can just kind of maybe even go for another side after this. They still have the Aegis. Oh, nice lift. Avalanche lift. Avalanche stolen under his feet. Not going to connect, but they've got the Dream Coil. Great and now Zinku's in trouble. He's already dead. He doesn't have buyback. They'll go for the rest. They take the Aegis out of the hands of the TA. Nisha off to the side with the BKB running out in just a second from XXS. Oh, the Avalanche the once again coming avalanche. out from Boxy. XXS on the run, one health left. He just heals up and not going to be enough. So XXS ends up falling. XM trying to fight, but the break is there. They get the kill. They'll take it the Viper. He doesn't have buyback again. Ami trying to do all he can. But they're I, going don't think, for the I don't think he can hold. Yeah, the throne's going to be exposed if they're not too careful. The tier fours are vulnerable. They still don't have a glyph. And this might just be Liquid eliminating Extreme Gaming, who took one in the group. They were nine and one, and it's all fallen apart since. Third spot Icarus the dive, Supernova, Ame's dead. That's all they've written here as the throne is exposed, and it is going to be Extreme Gaming eliminated in the first round after an amazing group stage. But Liquid don't care about that performance as they will take them 2-0.